How do you like to hear stories? You might read a traditional book or a comic. You could watch a movie or a TV show. You might listen to a podcast, read a book in braille, or see a story told in sign language. Theater is storytelling, and just like stories, theater can take place in many different settings. This video will discuss the four most common types of stages, proscenium, thrust, arena or in the round, and flexible. The most well-known type of stage is called a proscenium. This is a Latin word meaning in front of the scenery. Most school auditoriums are proscenium theaters. A proscenium always has a proscenium arch forming a frame through which the audience views the show. Let's take a look at this example. Do you see the frame? At the bottom of the proscenium arch, there is an invisible line that connects the frame sides. The plaster line is what divides the stage behind the proscenium from the apron in front of the curtain. Let's look at that in action. Watch as this curtain opens. The line on the stage floor that the curtain touches is the plaster line. Designers must consider the location of the plaster line to be able to hide scenery from the audience's view. Anything placed in front of this line cannot be hidden by the curtain. Behind the plaster line is the stage space itself, and in front of it is the apron. The apron is the farthest downstage area of a proscenium stage and can be used as additional acting or scenic space. You can see the apron and plaster line in this diagram of a proscenium stage. For our next type of stage, think of Florida. Florida is a peninsula surrounded on three sides by water. The fourth side is good old Georgia. A peninsula thrusts out from the main land mass into the water. That is exactly what to expect from a thrust stage. A thrust stage is surrounded by audience members on three sides. Designers must be careful to avoid blocking any audience member's view with large scenery by placing it farther upstage. You might be familiar with an arena. This is the type of space where large sporting events are most frequently held. Theaters can also be arenas. An arena stage is completely surrounded with audience members. This is why arena stages may also be called theater in the round. Arena stages are the most difficult for designers and actors to work with. It's quite hard to play to all sides at once. It takes a lot of work and rehearsal to get these shows looking amazing. The fourth type of stage is much more flexible. Remember being a kid? How you let your imagination transform anywhere you were into anywhere you could imagine? That's what happens in flexible stages. Street performers like these clowns are masters of flexible spaces. Think about attending a parade. Notice how audience members just fill in wherever they can. Theaters can use this technique indoors or outdoors to create unique, organic, flexible spaces for performances. Flexible stages can be just about anything, so this diagram is only one of an infinite number of examples. The stage can be any shape, and the audience can be located anywhere. Let's review the four types of stages you have just learned. A proscenium is the most well-known stage type and always has a frame around the performance area. A thrust stage has audience members on three sides. An arena or in the round stage is completely surrounded by audience members. Flexible stages are just that, flexible. They can be anywhere and any shape. Just like stories, theater can come in lots of different forms. Which stage is the most interesting to you?